Hey, Dsauce, Davis here. Now, all of us move without really thinking. I mean, it's quite incredible that we can just change our location at any instant. But what about electrons? How do they move and why? Let's find out. Now, electrons move all the time. We're not at absolute zero. But today I'm interested in how they move through wires, specifically when they're connected in circuits. Now, circuits are collections of elements connected through wires. The most basic circuit ever made contains just one battery and one resistor. Now, resistors resist current, which is the flow of electrons in a circuit. If there wasn't a resistor in the current, the results would be shocking. And speaking of shocking, it's time for a shocking transition to our next person. A light bulb can act as a resistor in a circuit. As we have here, I have a battery connected to a switch, which blocks the current going into this resistor. The switch is currently open, but when I close it, the electrons are allowed to move throughout the circuit. Think of an open switch as a closed door, preventing a line of people from moving, and, of course, when people are able to move, things get done. When electrons move in a circuit, they can be used to provide power to electronic devices. For the purposes of analyzing how circuits work, we look at conventional current, which goes in the opposite direction of the electron flow. Think of it as this. As the electron, negative charges, leave the negative end of the battery, temporary positive charges are left behind and move in the opposite direction. We can use the resistance of the resistor and the voltage supplied by the battery to determine how much current flows through the resistor. And to do this, we use Ohm's law, which states that the voltage drop along a resistor is equal to its resistance times the current flowing through it. Now, not all circuits look like this. Say I take another light bulb and I connect it like this. This is called resistors in parallel. Resistors can also be added in series. Hey, sauce. The resistance increases when you put the resistors in series, just adding up the total equivalent resistance, so the theoretical resistance of a single resistor would replace the series. In parallel, however, you do a weird reciprocal thing and the equivalent resistance usually ends up being smaller than the individual resistor. Now this part is the source of an electrical potential difference, or otherwise known as voltage. All the open wires connected directly to the positive end have a potential equal to that supplied by the battery and all the open wires connected to the negative end carry a zero potential. At junctions, places where the wire splits in two, the voltage stays the same across all parts of the junction. The voltage is only different across resistors and the battery. Alright, so how about we do some, some circuit practice problems? That sound good? Sounds good to me! Alright, Brady. Uh, let's start with a... Okay, so we're going to start with a battery. It doesn't really... Doesn't matter what the voltage is. Give it. Give me a number between 1 and 10. Uh, how about 9? Well, that sounds good. This battery is 9 volts. And so I'm going to connect it to a circuit with two resistors in series. And they're both going to have a resistance of... Let's have them be different. Uh, give me two numbers between 1 and 10, but have them be different. Let's go with uh, 2 and 4. Oh, thank you for picking nice numbers this time. Usually you pick ugly numbers. I, I don't like you for that because I have to use fractions. But Just pick any number. All right, then. <laughs> any whole integer multiple of 2 between 1 and 10. <laughs> Moving on. So... We're going to analyze the current flowing in this circuit through the resistors and also the open wire, of course. And to do that, we're going to use a very handy equation called Ohm's Law, which is V equals IR, where V is the voltage of the battery connected to the circuit, I is the current flowing through, and R is the resistance, the total resistance of the circuit, not just of one resistor, although you can analyze one resistor using this equation. So to get the total resistance for resistors in series, you just add them up. So 2 plus 4 is 6 ohms equals R. So when we have the voltage of the battery, so we can put 9 volts equal to R times 6 ohms. Oh, this is a nice fraction, too. You were nice to me this time. Thank you. All right, we divide 9 volts by 6 ohms to get 3 halves equal 3 
3 volts over 2 ohms if you reduce it equals I and volt over ohm reduces to amp so we have 1.5 amps is the current through this whole circuit 1.5 amps all right now we're going to do a circuit in parallel because that one was with resistors in series not the resistors one in parallel which means we can decide the voltage for this layer there are two branches to the circuit each with a resistor on them and they both need to back up after they split so uh let's just give this uh, a nice four volts for the battery and for uh the left resistor give me a value um, let's do three. All right, three ohms. Unless you want to do killer ohms, in which case mm. I will kill you. And now on the other resistor, give me a number. Let's do uh, six. <laughs> six ohms. Why do you have to give me multiples of three when I put a multiple of four for the... Anyways. All right, now, again, V, the voltage of the battery, equals the current through the circuit. I wrote equals twice. That's fine. No one cares. Because I, the current through the circuit, times the total resistance of the circuit. Now, in parallel, resistors do a funny little thing where the total resistance, 1 over the total resistance, is equal to 1 over the first resistor plus 1 over the second resistor plus so on and so on. And so, we're going to plug in minus 1 over 3 ohms plus 1 over 6 ohms equals 1 over the total resistance. And so, one third plus one sixth, if we get common denominator, we have two sixth ohms plus one sixth ohms equals three sixth ohms, which is one half ohm. One over R equals one over two ohms. And you can just flip the whole thing because the division, etc. And so the resistance of this whole section here equals two ohms because one over, half or one over two flipped is just two. So now we have the voltage of the battery to plug in for V, for four volts equals I times two ohms, which then equals four over two, I equals two amps through this, only this section of the wire before the junction. Going this way, of course. And so now, if you'd like to, you can do your own work and figure out, just by isolating each of these resistors, that the current will sub split evenly into two, not evenly, but at a, a, a nice ratio, and will combine back into two amps over here, because current splits across junctions. What do we try that? All right. You, you if you'd like me to. You want another pen? Ah, uh, please. So I can just write over this one. Yeah, Wonderful. That's cool. All right. So, so Let's do it for this resistor right now. So we've got, got the voltage of the battery is the same. We're still finding the current, and the resistance total now is just this one resistor, which is three ohms. So V equals IR still. So four volts equals I times three ohms. And four volts over three ohms is four over third amps for the current through just this. Four, three amps this direction, just on this branch. And so for the other branch, well, I'm just going to write over this here. I've got V equals still 4 volts. I is we're still finding, and the resistance is now 6 ohms. So V is still equal to IR. So 4 volts equals I times 6 ohms this time. So now we've got 2 thirds amps equals I, because 4 over 6 is 2 thirds. So on this branch of the circuit, we've got 2 thirds amps going this direction. So you can see when it splits off here, the four-third and the two-third add up to make two. And so when they, they split off, the two splits in, obviously, these two. And then when they come back together, you add them back together to get the two arms down here. Well, that's pretty nifty. No, it is. And that's a quick introduction into simple circuits. And remember, if your mom or anyone tries to tell you that circuits are fake news, just resist it. And as always, thanks for watching! watching.